Hello, my name is Andrei, and in today's tutorial, I will present the most handy methods by which we can ensure that we do not infringe copy law when we use certain materials from the internet. Copyright protects original creative products, products or industrial design, pro production formulas, softwares, technical plans, business procedures or receipts, business structures, artistic creations, know-how descriptions, databases, and many, many other stuff. In the age of the internet, we are often tempted to use certain photos or videos to increase the quality and the attractiveness of our work. The problem arises when we do not know what we can do without breaking the law. We can say that any material that you can download or copy, you can use it without any problems in a materi material that you present to your students, but without distributing it on, in, on any channels or without giving a copy to someone else. The problem arises when we want to publish, to distribute, to make our materials known. When we want to publish a work, we need to know for sure that the authors of the materials we use in our work do not have material claims or do not request permission to use them for their creations. There are many sites that offer downloadable materials, but not all materials are completely free to use in other works. These sites do not always provide clear explanations of copyright. Many of these materials are subject to certain terms and conditions. And in this, in this tutorial, I will show you some safe ways to use material created by other authors in our work. One surefire way is to use the elements of the software we work with. For example, the PowerPoint application provides a number of objects that we can use if we have the licensed application. For example, the templates in the application give us the opportunity to visually enhance our presentations. The advantage, the advantage is that we know exactly which ones are free and can be used without any worries. From the application, from the insert menu, image, we can select the stock image options. In the menu that opens, we have the image options where the images are sorted by domain and have a very professional look. The next tab icon gives us a lot of icons and they look very professional. Cutout people provides us with a series of silhouettes presenting photos with transparent edges so that at the time of introduction to be seen in our presentation, only the silhouette. In the stickers field, we have various funny stickers. In the video tab, we find various clips made very well, which can insert in our presentations by pressing the insert button. As we can see, both selected elements were introduced, both the photo and the video clip. The next op option, it's also in the images, online pictures button, where we can either select an image from the categories arranged alphabetically or search in the dedicated field. Another source of free material, um, this time video, is the YouTube platform. Even if the insertion of the clips of YouTube is done, practically by inserting a link to this platform, we can use in our materials only the online ones. Any of the clips that we, we can run on the platform, it's free. If we have a web page or blog, we can add a video to our site for free by clicking the share button and the end. To do this, we copy the code generated by the application into the page of our site or blog. Another application that allows us to use items created by someone else without worrying about copyright is the Canva application. In addition to the PowerPoint application, Canva also handles the online presence of our work. A presentation made in Canva will automatically be hosted online and can be distributed or searched online. And for this application, we can select a free template that, that visually enhances the presentation. On the left, we have a series of templates. The ones marked with a crown and the indication pro can only be used if we have a paid plan on this platform. 
For those who have a free plan, they can use any of the unreported templates. Also, take into account that for NGOs, Canva can provide free plans. I choose a template that I can use with my free plan. The application also offers us in the Elements tab a series of materials that can be used in our presentations without thinking that we are violating copyright law because the online platform made the selection for us. Another application that provides us with content without worrying about copyright is Genially. Like the other applications, when creating a material, it provides us free of charge various interesting templates. We can select the template we like and our material already has a special look without the need for us to do the research on the, on the rights that we have to use. In addition to the object provided by the template, photos, icons, and other creative elements, we may include as needed photos, videos, illustrations, and more. Use of these images is safe for our presentation. If we are carefully, genially also specifies the sources of images, and in this way, we can find another source of free materials. Pixabay, Jiffy are free libraries of visual materials. We also have a number of icons, graphics, and other materials that we can use for free. Like the Canva platform, works made uh, on the Genially platform are automatically available online and can be distributed via a link or, or can appear in thematic searches. Book Creator, it's another platform that provides us free of charge with a series of elements that will improve the quality of our work. When creating a work, we can use for images the search function offered by the application with the certainty that the found images can be used without problems. The application also shows us that the images are searched in the Pixabay library, which is also used by Jerry. Although almost every time we are tempted to search Google or another search engine for illustrative materials of our work, for our work, it does not guarantee that we will be able to use for free what we find in our work. As we have seen in this tutorial, there are much simpler and handy solutions to look for materials for our work and materials, which from my point of view, also have a guaranteed quality, which is not always offered by the materials. This tutorial was created under the Adapted Accessibility for All project, funded by, co-funded by Erasmus+. I hope you enjoy it and for more, please follow our Facebook page.